Hi everybody, this is the tutorial for part two of dimensioning. In part two, you will learn how to use a caliper, okay? So you should have a document that looks like this. You'll have an electronic copy and it shows you different cube assemblies that you will build and take measurements of using calipers okay so remember you and your group should have an electronic a google doc copy that you share with each other and then you'll record measurements in this top chart okay so a caliper is used for taking different kinds of measurements a ruler has some limitations. A ruler is usually used for two-dimension measuring. You can use it on three-dimensional objects. However, a set of calipers allows you um, to take different measurements of different objects. So for example, if I wanted to measure the diameter of a round object, a ruler would be quite difficult, but using a caliper um, it is much easier to measure the diameter of round objects. Also measuring depths, for example, if I wanted to measure the depth in the cap, we'll talk about using a caliper. You're going to use this wheel and a part extends back here and that is how you would take depth. So you would get that extension piece and that would be the depth. And we'll talk about how to get a measurement off of this device. Okay, so that's the point of a caliper. It gives you more control over measuring versus a traditional ruler, okay? So in design, if we want to recreate an object or um, take measurements of an existing object to recreate it or model it on the computer, a caliper gives us more control. Okay, so let's review the three types of measurements that we can use a caliper to obtain. Okay, so the first type of measurement is an outer measurement or an outer width. And before we talk about that actually, you would hold the caliper with your right hand, they're designed for right-handed people, so if you're lefty, you'll just have to kind of adjust, I guess, sorry about that. So you hold it in your right hand, and you place your thumb on this wheel, and it allows you to open and close. I'm gonna turn this light off so it reduces the glare. Hopefully there's still enough light. Yep, there should be. And there we go, okay. So you open, and close by placing your thumb on that wheel. Okay, so outer diameter or outer width or outer dimensions means getting the dimension around an object, okay? So whether it's a marker or a rectangular box, you would open the calipers and use that part to get the measurement. So you'd be using these parts to obtain your measurement. You'd open them, place the object in, oops, and then close them around the object. That would be outer dimension or outer diameter, and that's obtained, um, we'll talk later about how to get your measurement from that area. The next type of measurement is an inner dimension or inner diameter. So for example, if I wanted the diameter inside of this marker cap, that's an inner dimension or an inner diameter, I would use the upper part of the calipers. So I'd get my object, and again using my thumb, once they stop, I'd take that out, and then I'd get my measurement, which we'll talk about later. So for inner diameter or inner dimension, use the upper part. Place it inside, 
and open. The last type of dimension is depth. And for depth, we use the piece that extends from down here. So as I move my thumb, you'll see a piece that extends out and that gives me depth. So if I wanted the depth inside this marker cap, my thumb is on the wheel moving it along. I'd place, first I'd place this flush, this end piece flush, then I'd extend that down. Once that extension piece stops, I'd take it out. Depth is quite long there, quite uh, large, larger than we can see. And then I'd get my measurement by looking over here. So that piece is used for depth. So, let's talk about taking measurements with the dial calipers. So first, It's important to close your dial caliper, I'm sorry, they're not dial calipers. It's important to close your calipers and to look at the mark that lines up with zero. So this piece here is the slider piece. This will slide along. And there are quite a few marks here, I think like 10, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine, which doesn't really make much sense. So you're going to use the leftmost, okay? That lines up with zero. There's one down here as well. This is the line on the slider piece that you are going to use to get your measurement. You use this line to get your measurement. So you close it at zero. This lines up with zero. That's what you use to obtain your measurements. So let's do our first assembly. It's going to be this cube assembly and it says to measure the depth using the dial caliper. So you're going to place it here, extend down until the extension piece hits. Okay. So, the upper part shows inches, the lower part shows centimeters. So we're using this piece here. The three corresponds with inches. So we know the whole number is two. This would be two and a half. This would be so 8 16 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 8 16 7 16 6 16 So 2 and 6 16 reduces to 2 and 3 8 So in inches, that's 2 and 3 8 And in centimeters, it is right between six centimeters and 6.1 centimeters, okay? So for this one, it is two and three eighths inches or six, 0.1 centimeters. So we're using this mark. Two and three eighths, that's a half. So two and three eighths inches and about 6.1 centimeters. The next assembly is four cubes and we are supposed to get the length So we'd open it up, close it around, slide this off. So let's measure in inches and in metric. Let's let the zoom adjust. So there's three inches. 
one eighth, two eighths, so three inch, I'm sorry, sixteenths, one, two sixteenths, three and two sixteenths, which reduces to three and an eighth, three and one eighth, three and one eighth inch, inches, and down here it's right by eight centimeters three and one eighth inches two sixteenths one eighth three and one eighth inches and this is eight centimeters the third assembly is this and we are supposed to obtain inner dimension so we'd use the top So you'd place the calipers in, extend, oop, kind of breaks apart a little, there's no way to really secure it very well. So use the, these inner pieces here. Let's let it adjust. All right, hole number two is here. So this is one and a half, one and eight sixteenths. One and nine sixteenths, one and nine sixteenths inches, one and nine sixteenths inches, and here slightly less than four centimeters. This would be four centimeters. We are looking here, so three point nine centimeters. One and nine sixteenths of an inch. That's one and eight sixteenths. One and nine sixteenths of an inch. And here, 3.9 centimeters. The last assembly is this. And it tells you to measure this using a ruler. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to change that. We'll just get more caliper practice. So let's use the calipers, extend all the way out. Whoa, it's reaching its maximum. There we go. Let's let it adjust. Five inches here. So it's four. There's a half. Nine, 10, 11. So four and eleven sixteenths, four and eleven sixteenths, four and eleven sixteenths. It's a little bit more. That's where the eleven sixteenths mark is. But let's just call it eleven sixteenths. And it's just shy of twelve centimeters, but we can call it twelve centimeters. So calipers give you control over taking different measurements, greater flexibility, and this set of calipers also gives you the option to measure in customary units or metric. Okay, thank you for watching.